why is the camera pointed more that way? Because everybody wants to see me in GP. What? I'm not even on that camera. No, but angle. you got your own camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is like, this, when you cut to JP, it's just JP. Is this like your way of like kicking me off slowly or something? Yeah, this well, is the, your goodbye yeah, video. Yeah, you keep saying right? you want to go to Logan's you're, you're impulsive. Going to impulsive. So, I mean, if they you, rejected if you want to leave. They rejected me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, we, we, we already this. filled your position, though. Who, with who? Guppy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I know. You know what? Down. You know what? I can down. actually introduce your replacement. Are you ready? No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Because whose idea was the headphones? Mine. I like it because you guys don't. Well, now that I can hear myself, can you guys hear me when I talk? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You want some ASMR? Oh. No. Watch this. Listen. Just listen. Just be quiet for a second. Ready? This isn't. It's, maybe the headphones was a oh, bad yeah, idea, yeah, yeah, JP. Watch, watch. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm a Twitch ASMR person now. All right, this there is, you know. oh, this is me sipping water. Ready? Whenever I add a new toy, you guys are like kids playing with it. This is me kissing Aaron for the audio listeners who don't get to see the video version until tomorrow. No, no, I'm not near his mouth at all. Do not fall for his lies. Let's get to the episode. That was a good <laughs> Oh, my kid, God. Maybe. All right, y'all ready to start it off, right? I'm going to get her, aren't I? Well, then let's got to get it. Three, two, one. Gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. What's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode. I don't know which episode this is, but we've been killing it. Bro, we haven't missed a single post yet in two months. That's really impressive. It is. And today, I have the honor of introducing our next guest, a.k.a. Chris Knight, a.k.a. Winner of the first season of Twin My Heart. Also, one of the trending cam boys. One of my good friends and one of my good acting friends. That was pretty good, right? That was. A, I'm surprised you took initiative and did this <laughs> Yo, intro. I practiced last night Keep in the mirror going. to myself because I knew going. it was important. So introducing the one and only Christian CV. Hey, that's me. How y'all doing? Thanks. Hey. Oh we got your own headphones. I have my own headphones. I have my own water. Yeah, uh, we, got, wow. we got you. They really, they really do you nice here on Impulsive. This is Impulsive, right? With Logan Paul. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, that's, that's JP. What I heard. JP I heard switched it, was, it to. Yeah. I mean, not JP. Uh, Yusuf switched it to that. right? Did your email that they requested you to be on this say we'd like you to be on Impulsive? That's no, how I we, didn't get an email. I got a text. Did it say impulsive? <laughs> yeah. That, Guys, you can't <laughs> clickbait our guests by telling this them they're going to be on impulsive. This is not this impulsive. Is, I, I said a show like impulsive. Oh, right. Oh, this, is, this, this has got to get it. I just saw impulsive and I was like, Coke. God. Oh, I've heard, no, I've heard of got to get it. You heard that's of it? Good, that's the good one. Hey! That's the good one. Hey! Okay, 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 okay. Hey! Oh, it's okay. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay, there we I go. Can, I am now a got to getter. Can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. I was actually gonna start the episode by saying that because your schedule time was twelve thirty, mm-hmm. and we were setting up at about twelve fifteen, and I said, "Is time he gonna out. be here?" Time on- out. Time out. We're not plugged in. Mic four. Who's in charge of all the technical stuff? You. Uh, who's our Aaron. producer guy no, next me. to the you're zoom? The produ- and no, that? you're next to the zoom. You're the producer. Bro, look, what's in your hand? No, no, no. It's in your you're hand right now. Producer. You just gave it to me. <laughs> what? Oh, mm. Okay, let's mm-hmm. do a mic check. Mm-hmm. Do a mic check, please. Check, 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 check. Okay, I can hear him. I was wondering because I was like, hmm. Guys, sorry for that um, technical difficulty. It I'm added not flavor. Say any names. It added flavor. But what I do want to say JP. is. That's the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at 12 15, I asked them, do you think he's going to be here on time? And they right. said, yes, most definitely. And at 12 30 on the dot, the doorbell rang. So that shows me you're a gotta getter. Because usually in exactly. LA, people send a text like, yo, stuck in traffic, I'm late, but they really went to Starbucks or something. So it's the true. fact that you got here on time, I really appreciate you it. Know what's, you know what's nice about LA, though? Huh. Is, is you can use the traffic. Oh, excuse. 100%. <laughs> it works every time. 100%. I don't use it often, but when I do, it works every time. Every Just, time you know, every time I bail out on a date when she's waiting for me at the restaurant, oh. I'm like, oh, sorry, the freeway was closed. 405, backed up. <laughs> it's like bumper to bumper okay. over here. So wait, that la- do you just have like pictures already set up of you in traffic to like just send like backup pictures? I just go to Google no. and I put 405 stock <laughs> images. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. It's just He's that aerial kidding. view. I'm kidding. Look at it. I send her drone footage, drone stock footage. Look, I'm in traffic flying my drone. 
Oh he doesn't even gosh. live near the 405. So I know. He says that. Yeah, I'm a liar. Let's just remember <laughs> that next time he says he's late. I actually used that excuse in one of these episodes. You know, yeah, you guys probably. didn't catch on to it. No, I, I mean, I know you well enough to know. We expect it. Anyways, boys, this episode is about Christians. So, Aaron That's me. or JP, if you would like to lead us into Christians' introduction, that would be fascinating. Didn't we already get the introduction? No, no, no we got the yeah. but now introduction into like your therapy session. Oh, right. Yeah, like <laughs> okay. who you well, actually I mean, are. So, yeah. thank God. <laughs> um, but no, I've been looking forward to this episode because we've worked on a couple projects together. Yeah. We've known each other for quite a bit. Um, but and I think I, I think you told me this once on a car ride, but I want you to tell again. I was telling JP about it. Mm-hmm. Um, how did you get into the social media world? How did you get to California? Where are you from? What um, led you to where you are now? Yeah, that's a that's a process. Um, it's like it's all it's all fun. It's all fun. But it, I mean, it starts with Daniel, my brother. He's in Why Don't We the Boy Band, which y'all may have heard of. Um, but he was on American Idol when he was 15 years old. I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't? Mm-mm. No, didn't that's that. that's where he started. He started oh. on American Idol when he was 15. Mm-hmm. He made it to the, the top nine, flirting with J-Lo the whole way there. Ooh, um, nice. He got eliminated on his birthday. Oh. And then came home, looked for, you know, looked through a bunch of record labels and deals that he was sent, stuff like that. Didn't find anything that really stuck. So he was about ready to just kind of throw in the towel. And where were you guys living at the time? Um, we were living in Washington. Washington. Washington oh. on like like no money whatsoever. Oh. It's it's like the most like rags to riches beautiful yeah. story. Not not necessarily rags cuz my dad knew how to spend money really mm-hmm. well, but it was like low salary in Washington, just normal people. Mm-hmm. Uh, my brother after like a year of looking for labels and stuff was about to give up and just get a job at PacSun. And he was no like, I'm going to be like, an architect because he loves like building and shit like that. So he was like, I'll be an architect and like music will be a hobby of mine. He used all the money from American Idol to build a studio. And he was like, it'll be a hobby. So he was ready to give up and then um, not, not necessarily give up, but just kind of move on. Uh-huh. And then one of the members of Why Don't We called him and was like, hey, we're forming a band. We just lost a member. We need one more member. <laughs> wow. Um, do you want to come and join the band before uh-huh. we like go public and start moving? And he was like, yep. And then he got on a flight to LA, met everybody. They started making music and it's been up and up from there. Damn. So for me, um, his kind of rise from American Idol, his rise from um, Why Don't We kind of while I was in college started to give me instagram followers and stuff like that just by being connected to him being his Uh brother um and then i have always been into acting i started in high school um did a couple plays and i really liked the the kind of praise and the energy you get from being on stage all of that stuff um moved to college and it was kind of like it was one of those things where it's can i stop you yeah for sure can i scooch you closer to the mic yeah absolutely he just wanted to touch you. No, I didn't even touch him. I touched his chair. <laughs> it just sounds it. better when he's closer to the mic. I have strong it. legs, man. I didn't touch his leg. <laughs> I did not touch his leg. He did. He did. <laughs> but I liked it. That's <laughs> such a lie, but I'll let it slide for the future. Okay, continue. Sorry. Anyway. <clears throat> um. <laughs> haters. Haters. It's okay, man. It's okay. He touched me. Um, I did. <laughs> it's a broad shoulder, man. It's a great shoulder. <laughs> uh. I got to college and it was kind of one of those things of like acting is a passion that most people it's very risk it's it's a risky passion to pursue because there's not a lot of success in it so when I went to college I was like I will learn to be an acting teacher because then Mm. I'll still be doing what I'm doing doing what I love to do Mm -hmm. um, but I'll be doing it in a way that's actually like beneficial to me and that I can see a career in and stuff like that so Mm -hmm. I was kind of being smart about it until I went to a show in Seattle that my brother performed at mm-hmm. and I walked into the like empty stadium and got like chills all through my spine and just like could not talk for the next <laughs> hour. It was like culture shock because I walked in there and I was like, there's no way my brother is going to perform in this stadium right now because mm-hmm. it's it's 
massive. And like when you walk in, when you walk into a stadium filled with people for a concert, it's kind of what you expect. It's a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. It's fun. But when you walk into an empty stadium mm -hmm. and there's just like, like as far as the eye can see, empty space and then like lo-fi bass just like boom, through the whole, it's it's wild. Yeah. And I, I was like in culture shock. So I like walked backstage, started talking to the boys and my brother and I was like, uh-huh. Yeah, it's <laughs> cool. And then like watched him perform and he killed it. It was like the coolest show ever. There's like like 25,000, I think, people cheering. 25,000? Like, yeah. yeah. I'd be too scared. It's just, and he's just up there doing his thing, just doing what he loves to do, which is perform music. What do you mean? And I was you're like, what? You're going to be performing your stand up comedy in front of 25,000 yeah. people. Yeah, we're 400 no, no, no. likes he's away. Live, like 25,000. I'm talking dude, about live. He's talking about live too. <laughs> you're going to get there. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay. So, how did this lead to you coming to LA? Yeah, so it led to me coming to LA because when I watched that, I was like, okay, my brother is the same story I do. He has the same upbringing I do. Mm -hmm. He has the same, like, family that I do he he and I are similar so I was like if he can make it if he can perform in front of 25,000 people why can't I that's a great mentality to have yeah and I, I mean that's that's my little little brother up there do you want to um start a boy band called why can't I Since <laughs> hell no why, why I don't we for <laughs> shit. No. I don't think anyone in our group can well no you I just can. thought it was a funny joke because he had his brothers why don't we he just said why can't I you should start a the like joke. your new yeah. rap name he's already a singer Peter rapper Peter slash Peter producer Peter. <laughs> 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 bro whenever you get a chance you should listen to his most recent song I'm not promoting it I'm just saying like it's actually a good song Fousey's about to promote it after that sip of water yeah. no I'm not you promote should. it go ahead it's not promo right now it's about about Christian boys. Um, but I will say one thing, because um, I've I've been to his house in his room. This dude in his closet. So you see, like this bookshelf we have right here. Yeah. This dude has how many plays and just straight up acting books? About eight hundred plays. Wow. And like, like thirty acting books. Wow. It's it's because when I so I I did a show and it was a show that like changed my whole mentality on acting. Um, and we can talk about that in a bit, but I did this show. I got nominated for a uh, competition and I placed second in the competition and I won a thousand bucks. So I was like, okay, I won this money acting. So I'm just going to put it all back into acting. And I bought, um, <laughs> you touched him. I'm allowed to. And that's, he is, he is. It's, okay. Come on. <laughs> Um, but I, I won the money through acting, so I put it all back into acting, and I bought a bookshelf full of full of plays. That's awesome. That reminds me of in the Queen's Gambit when she won um, the competition, then went and bought her own mm -hmm. chess set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, same yeah. same idea. I love her. Oh my gosh, me and him went on a long rant. She's about incredible. Queen's Gambit. I love her. Incredible. Me too. She's me too. so I pretty. I love just her. Like, a great actress. Not even about that. Just her acting is like, just so engulfing. So I like. Somebody pointed this out to me, and then I rewatched the entire show and just looked at this. Mm -hmm. She barely moves. She barely moves. Her eyes barely move. She just she's so still. But through the stillness, you see like the storm going yeah, on inside of her. You see so much. It's like her incredible. And, like oh, that uh, the. the the guy she who was in her hotel room and they were mm -hmm. about to. Oh get yeah, her yeah, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just felt that. I know. And they, they're barely moving. Yeah. It's like all internal. But you're like, huh? It's, dude. Yeah. It's a, she's Phenomenal my celebrity show. crush right now. By the yeah. way. Whoa. Yeah. Wait. Can you say that? Oh. Yeah, I already cleared it through all the channels. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So, uh, all right. So you've covered a lot of it. But I want to go back to when I first met you. Mm -hmm. um, so Twin My Heart, if you guys haven't watched it, it's this dating show Ronnie and Nessa run. And you're one of the contestants. Hey, shout out to it. Ronnie oh. for the <laughs> Gotta Get a Podcast idea. All thanks to you. Appreciate you. Christian would not be here without you. So thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. Um, but no, yeah, you're right. Because I met Christian from that show and I met all these yeah. guys. And no offense, to, I don't think any of the guys are watching, but a lot of them Probably. were kind of douchey. Well, wait, can you guys break, can you break down to me what Twin My Heart was, what you want? Like, what is this? Uh, go ahead, Christian. Uh, you were in it. So. Okay, <laughs> Twin My Heart was, I actually almost did an audition for Twin My Heart. What? I was so close to not auditioning. Why? I sent in my audition like the day before it was due. 
Because I was like, oh, it's reality TV. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to do reality. But then I was like, it's a dating show, though. So <laughs> sign me up. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was basically um, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's safe for me to compare it to the show, but it's, it was basically like a YouTube version of The Bachelor. Bachelor. Very fair. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's actually a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's essentially what it was. It was like they got. So you were one of the male contestants on yeah. the show. And Who there was, was the girl? Ten of them, uh, right? Vanessa. But I didn't know it was Vanessa. How do you not? I've told you about. No, this. you didn't know about this. No. I knew nothing. I went into this episode with I wanted to learn about you through the, this episode. Oh, that's adorable. Um, <laughs> so Vanessa picked you. Yeah. In the end. Oh, but wait. There's one thing I want to say. Wait. What? Can um, I? Can I? Can I ask just yeah. freely? Yeah. I know it was a reality show. Yeah. But it was a dating show. Yeah. And she had to go did, through many men. Did I get feelings for Vanessa while I was yeah. on the show? Is that the question? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Did she and reciprocate because, the feelings? I, I, I hope. I think. Well, I don't know. I, I'm not in her head. I well, can't. Well, I want to know. Why you got that face? Because <laughs> you. Why don't you just watch it? It's still available. Okay. Right? No. Because I can watch it and get. I, Aaron. Shh. <laughs> did yeah, why would he watch it? Did like I'm right after here. you won? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys like test the waters? Yeah, tested the waters for a little bit, and then it, it was kind of a thing of like I had just gotten to LA. She's obviously been in LA for a minute, so she had a lot of work. I had a lot of work, and so it just didn't end up working out. The boat sank. Yeah. But you won. But I won. But I mean. I'm going to be honest with you guys. These headphones haven't worked since I put them <gasps> at the start of the podcast. JP? That's, those are your headphones. Technical issues? <laughs> just leave them off. Sorry. Just take them off. Just take them off. I've never done Yo, a podcast he, with headphones. Yo, Vanessa picked him. <laughs> Is that what? There's a reason. A there's, there's a reason it's a shock, but I just can't say it. It's, it has nothing to do with you. Wow. It has nothing to do with uh-huh. you. I swear. Uh-huh. It has to do with me oh, well, and stuff I've never said. But if I said, him, I'll get in a lot of trouble. Him? I'm not insulting him. It has to deal with <laughs> me. Insulted it has to deal with wow. me and my feelings. But if I said it, I'll get in a lot of trouble. So hey, I can't that's say okay. it. Oh, man. Hold I love it. the fact that people Hold hear it. the audio <laughs> first so that like they don't see the video. I'll just say this. I'll say this. <laughs> say it. <laughs> it's some dead space there. <laughs> Uh-oh. We all know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? <laughs> well, I have feelings for Vanessa. No. Or you, no, have, no, you no, have them. No, or you have them. That's what I was going to say. That would have been told What I was going to say is, had oh, okay. I been on Twin My Heart uh-huh. and had Vanessa been the Bachelorette yep. and had me won, I would have been very happy. You wouldn't have won because I was there. Oh. You also, th- you should audition for the next Twin My Heart. I'm pretty sure. They yeah. just came out with another one. Wait, is she the person again? No. <laughs> But uh, they just came out with one with uh, this guy named Do you Nate want Wyatt. her to be the person again? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Or, oh, so I was or, right. <laughs> or the Nate Wyatt show, it's, a, it's like The Bachelor. One guy, and they picked, what was it, 10 girls mm-hmm. or something like that? Yeah. So you could be, I mean, like... I'm cool. Would you be down with that? You wouldn't <laughs> want to be a dating show? No, not Why that not? one. Why not? It's not Twin My Heart. It is Twin My Heart. It's another season. This, they've just done not three seasons already. Who's the girl? It's a bunch of... It's well, it, it might be you... And then ten girls. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, sign me up. <laughs> sign me up. I, I would do that in a heartbeat. Hello. Well, congratulations on winning twenty. Hey, heart. thank you, thank you. That's it awesome. Was, it, Dude, was, he it was very fun. I was on. Was I'm gonna watch it because that's not easy to win a dating show. Like when you're going no. against so many no. egos and well, masculine. The, like uh, when you see the guys, you'll be like, these are the guys. Of course, yeah, you'll think. Yeah. I mean, and it wasn't scripted. No. Mm-mm. You legit no. won. <laughs> yes. My mind is blown. Yeah. It, and this is no it, diss towards him. It's just like winning a bachelor show is like winning the lottery. Yeah. It's hard. I'll tell you. I'll we tell should you do this. a dating show for you. Like, gotta get it. Then, Yusuf dating show. I would love Ooh. it. Would you, would you be down? 100%. Nope. All right. Future project, JP. 100%. Vanessa I'll tell you what, and sh- her friend. No, we'll just get every girl he's <laughs> secretly mentioned on the show so far. <laughs> I've mentioned so, far. so many subliminally. <laughs> hey, that's All right. So right there. I go. see on our outline we have. Prom night. Oh, prom night. I was on this with show. him. So who yeah. wants to talk that a, about that? Was that was our first time acting. Um, together. I'll I'll lead you into it and you take it over. Great. Sounds so good. prom night is a story mm-hmm. uh, that was produced on Ronnie Ness's channel. If you guys want to see it, it's still up. Um, it was written by Dustin. 
And basically, it's a story of two sisters. One sister's popular, one's not. Unpopular How sister watches a, subscri- uh, mm-hmm. watches a YouTuber. YouTuber puts out this thing where he's like, I need to find a prom date or something. Ends up picking Nessa. Was he the... And he's... Mm-hmm. Oh, Chris Knight. That's why I said Chris Knight earlier. And uh, basically, it's her, Vanessa, who's the unpopular sister, and Ronnie, who's the popular sister, who's supposed to be like the prom queen, and uh-huh. me. My name's Asher. I like football, and I was supposed to be prom king until this basketball. Oh, basketball. Yeah, <laughs> this man doesn't even know his character. Basketball. Basketball. Same sport. There's a ball involved. Um, <laughs> no. But... No, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've always, I don't think we've uh, ever talked about it after the shoot. Because that, that ended no, right when we, COVID went into effect. That's uh, true. We got text messages the last night. It said, quarantine's happening. That Damn. was wild. I mm-hmm. completely forgot about that. We lit, yeah, we literally finished the show. Like, finished mm-hmm. filming, and then it was like, quarantine is now in effect. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, it's different than based on what we've talked about. Because we're hearing about your mm-hmm. experiences, what you've been on. Yep. I'll get closer, Aaron. Um, so you do a thing like prom night. Yeah. Okay. It gets released. Yep. You as an actor, what gives you the most affirmation and fulfillment from being in the project? Is it reading the comments and seeing somebody said, oh, my God, Christian's acting was so good. Was it he was so funny here or he looks so good? Like, what is your, like, um, fulfillment? What is that driven from? Yeah, that... See the thing that's like a the hardest question to ask because I I think being there is the fulfillment for me because oh, because that's beautiful. like art that's art beautiful. um and acting is a form of art movies are a form of art stuff like that art is so hard to judge critically it's very subjective it's very subjective and so I will go and I will do my role and I will do you know what I think the role does where I think he emotes where I think he doesn't emote and I'll do the role where I see justice to do it. And then past that, it's just everybody has their own opinion on it. So one person will be like, Christian did so good acting in this role. And one person will be like, dude, this guy Christian sucks. Yeah. But you can't really listen to that. Well, that's my next question. If you put your heart into a project, as I'm sure you did. Yep. And then... I don't even know if you read the comments. It sounds like you're the type who doesn't care because you get your fulfillment from the art. But if I you, still read the comments. If just you for were fun, to read the comments <laughs> mm-hmm. and it was just bashing, negative. I would feel like shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's a, that's the other hard thing about acting is like it's a very like open art form because you're, you're revealing like pieces of yourself of when you're acting. And when you have an emotional scene, which I did have in that show, when you have even like – even a romantic scene. You're like divulging pieces of yourself. Was there any kisses on the episode? There was, but... There was. <laughs> there was this one scene that everyone kept talking about. I remember he was like, bro, I'm working out every day. He's like, I gotta get tan and everything. Were He's you like, shirtless? Oh, 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 yeah. oh. Oh. Just tell them about... No, not just shirtless. Tell them the scene. Like He's he's turning red, but you'll know. Was, yeah, of course I'm turning red. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally... It was in the first episode. It's like the first introduction to the character. Uh-huh. And it's like... Chris Knight dives into the pool, comes oh out, my water God. dripping from him. Yo, that's Joe pressure. Just grabs a towel. It that's is pressure. pressure. It is. This dude was like working out so hard. Sex was like, bro, I got to keep working out. Like, Good for him. Like, I was yeah. like drinking a gallon of water a day. We got, we got to the shoot to like shoot that scene. And I was sitting there like with sandbags, like <laughs> lifting the sandbags, trying to get my muscles out. I did a whole ab routine. I respect before. that grind because a lot of the things about getting it is a lot of people don't understand you uh fail to prepare prepare to fail yeah. had you not worked out got ready you would have came out that pool looking like i look right now which would not have been a good look for you you don't look that bad <laughs> you really don't have you, you seen good. me with my shirt off yeah no you have your pants always dry like your pants always, like, always why do you think because my thighs are so thick that's why <laughs> it goes down so it's thanks, not that man. bad anyways but i do want to so hear- respect your commitment to that role you. and doing that because i don't know if you know this mm-hmm. I was a theater arts major at San Jose State University. Were you really? So I acted in all my school plays. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, and in one of my plays, the play opened up. I was actually mm-hmm. shirtless. I trained my <laughs> butt off yep. for that. Because every, you know how in college, some students were required to go watch school plays to do an assignment? Yep. So I knew all the girls that I oh, liked yeah. were there. Oh, yeah. So what? 
The same, same, because I, I acted in college too. Yeah. And I did it a lot because I liked acting. But when I had like a shirtless role or something like that, I would look at who's in the theater 101 class because that's the class that's going to go and see the play. Oh, where is that? We're, go we're connecting on the... We got to go back to Twim, or not Twim, but, uh, Prom Night. So what was your experience right. like on it? Like, How I did you it. like filming with like Ronnie, Nessa, <laughs> Paul, all that I stuff? I loved it. It was... Um, <laughs> what? I'm just enjoying this episode. <laughs> I no, that was so prom night was like the first big film thing that I had done because um, I did like when I first moved here, I did Twin My Heart. And then from Twin My Heart, I did a couple short films, mm -hmm. um, like some mini projects, stuff like that, but nothing major. Mm -hmm. So prom night was the first like budgeted. We have really nice cameras. We the cameras are moving on these dollies and stuff like that. Yeah. So it was the first like like budgeted big film project I had worked on. Oh, sick. So afterwards, so, did you have like any opportunities pop up because of yeah. it? Yeah, so afterward, afterwards, um, like being able to build a reel with all of that got me my agent. And then wow. my, my agent wow. went and booked me on a Lifetime film. Once I had that Lifetime what? film, then I got another Lifetime film, another Lifetime film, an ad, and then what? another advertisement. I did a Adidas ad. I did a- what? Um, overstock ad all off and of then prom night all off of prom night a YouTube series for everyone wondering yeah. it's a YouTube series on the Mara Twins channel yep. it's not like a big like, well and it, and it just it just like like acting is all all in steps so those are all steps that we're taking and then um, once I did those five things I talked to my agent and my agent connected me to a manager and now that manager has me auditioning for Netflix Hulu Apple TV etc okay so now we're just waiting there's for something like I have to say the pop um, and this is because I always want to leave the viewers of this podcast with a message or just something yeah. in moments like these. And I know we've discussed this before as somebody who was an aspiring actor as myself. There's two routes I could take this and this could happen in your lives. I can listen to this story, the success story and be really envious and be like, why not me? Why him? I'm just as good. I might not be as good looking, but I could do those roles. That's the wrong approach. Whenever somebody shares their success with you, if you want success brought back into your life, you have to literally feel happiness for that person and say, congratulations, I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because that's the way it's done. You need to put out the energy you want to receive. So I literally, when he was first saying it, I sat back for a second and the I had that battle. I was like, am I jealous or am I happy? And I'm like, no, I'm happy for him. This is his road to success. Everybody has their own story and I'm proud proud of him. And I mean, the same thing happened for me and my brother. And I get asked the question all the time. Like, are you jealous of your brother? Because he's, you get asked that he's all the time by who fans or um, fans, friends, like, like any bit, or maybe they're not like, are you jealous of them? But they're, they like, they hint at it with like, how do you feel about your brother being like this big pop star and stuff like that? And it, I mean, it is like, it is a question people ask because they they look at me and this was like back in college when I hadn't really done anything and they look at him and the difference is huge. Okay. But the thing is like, and and for me it was a little easier because he does music and I do acting. Yeah. And I can't sing and he will always say that he can't act although he can. Mm -hmm. He looks great on camera and moves really well on camera. He is a good looking he, guy. You both really are. Is. He's a good looking. He's a very guy. supportive um, brother. Yeah. No, I want to hear his answer. Yeah. He hasn't said it yet. Um, to, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're basically yeah, no. Person. So there, there's music and there's acting and there's two different things. So I always tell myself like, yeah, he's popping in his area and he's going to continue to do so. And I'm going to support him because one day I will be popping in mine. And he'll support everybody you has, just as you yeah, support Everybody him. has their own journey, their own little bar graph <laughs> of success and stuff like that. I agree. Except if we were both on Twin My Heart together, then you'd be my competition. And I would have won. Oh. I I worked on that show. Don't don't worry about me. Okay? <laughs> I made I made French toast. I had a, I had a balcony <laughs> date. I made the whole oh, house French his toast. French toast is pretty good. Yeah, oh, I, I need to watch French this. Toast. I'm going home and watching this tonight. Um, but a really good question I want to ask, and especially since we've all been doing acting and stuff. Oh, so it's a really good question. You know that already. I do, because you're gonna I, you're gonna be like, oh, it's a good question. Normally, how like things happen, I just want to pick on you for no reason. It's okay. <laughs> normally, how things happen, you go, I have a question, and somebody like JP, me, or Christian would go, that's a really good question. Well, you, I just I, I know I know you're gonna like this question. Okay. Right, let's see. So okay. the traditional field, 
like we know looks at YouTube as like just a hobby, like a play thing mm -hmm. that people are doing. They don't really take it seriously, but they've taken it more seriously since the years have passed. True. Um, as somebody who started with traditional, came to YouTube, did Twin My Heart, did uh, Prom Night and all that stuff, yep. and going back to traditional, do you still, like, how do you think the traditional field, like casting agents and all those people still see YouTube as like, I I think it depends on I think it depends on the the That's casting agent. That's a great question. Oh my <laughs> god! You have to give him that. He of course goes, I did. Oh my god! Okay, answer the question. He gave me the introduction okay, that made okay. me look like a king. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's not get too happy. There. I don't know. Too late. Humble him. <laughs> uh, your ankle's still messed up. Yeah. True. <laughs> anyway, um, no, no. I think it depends on on the casting director. It really does, and I think like age factors into it to an extent mm -hmm. um i think there's like it's the same thing with like you know moving moving forward as a world there's there's older people with older ideals and there's younger people with younger ideals and sometimes the younger people have older ideals sometimes the older have mm -hmm. younger ideals but i think the main thing is like it depends on who you're auditioning for eventually the older ideals are going to be gone and the newer ideals in our generation exactly that's true. Take exactly over. and i think that the newer generation is seeing 100%. all of yeah. the success that you can There's have gonna be in youtube change. and so i think like casting directors are looking at like okay here's a youtuber if he d did acting has experience if he can do the role why would we not cast you know him the worst the mistake i ever made in an audition what so i went in there with no preparation and it was my first in an audition in quite some time yep and i go in there and i do it and she just looks at me and she gave me some notes and i said the worst thing you could ever say oh, no. i said i'm sorry I'm a YouTuber and I'm used to YouTube acting. Oh. Um, and as soon as I said that, she was like, what? "Thank you so much for being here today. We'll let we'll get back to you." What was it for? Can you tell us? It was like a TV show. I don't remember what it was. Well, I will say you're it. a really good actor, though. Oh, you're so sweet. No, but like dead, dead seriously, like from like seeing things that you've done and everything, you're like so Medea, like he's been in a couple movies. You're really? so sweet. See, this is why I don't give you compliments. You've been in a couple of movies. Why are you jealous of me? Uh, you won Twin My Heart. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm teasing. Oh, I'm teasing. Man. So what was your perspective on YouTube um, before coming into it? Yeah, before coming into it, I was like, I was very against it. It's why I didn't want to do the reality show. Not, I wasn't against YouTube in yeah. general, but I was against like being a YouTuber um, because I, and I still have a fear that like YouTube is going to conflict with acting in some way and stuff like that, because you really don't know what goes through the mind of a casting director. Like I've seen YouTubers move to acting and do a phenomenal job. Key and Lolly is like a, a perfect example of that. Like Zach and Mia just went on Netflix. I was able to watch it finally and Key and kills it mm -hmm. in that, but he did YouTube so much yeah. prior to that. So it, it really depends on the, the casting director. But I think, I think even with YouTubers, making the jump from like YouTube to Netflix is a hard jump to make. And not even Kean made that jump. Because with acting in general, you need um, credits to back that up. Mm -hmm. So Kean did Monster House. He did The Chosen, mm -hmm. um, which were kind of lower budgeted movies mm -hmm. so that he could build he up needed the credits. Those credits to then jump to Zach and Mia, which did phenomenal. And with me, it's it's lifetime films, which aren't which are good films, but they have like a certain pocket, which is the lower budget pocket. Mm -hmm. So you do a few lifetime films, you do a short film here, a short film there, and then you wait until you get it of course, on that which big you will. budget film. And so like you kind of have to take a traditional approach to acting mm -hmm. to make it, but I mean, I don't think there's anything stopping a YouTuber from becoming an actor. Yeah, 100%. If they have the talent and if they have something to prove. This that is can do off topic, but I hope to have Kean on the podcast one day to ask him how he gets away with all his tattoos. Because I had a hand tattoo mm -hmm. now that you can see is being removed. Two yep. years removed. I had a nervous breakdown when I had it, and I was like, I'm never going to get casted again because of this hand tattoo. Yeah. And without asking my agent, without asking my manager, can I keep this, I went and started getting it removed out of fear. Wow. But then you have somebody like Kian, who almost yeah. every inch of him is tattooed. Yeah, and the, the thing, and the, like, I'm scared to get tattoos for the same reason. Yeah. Like, one tattoo on my ankle so that it's hidden yeah. away. Um, but... If you fit the part, if you fit the role, they can cover up the tattoos with makeup. Wait, you Very have a tattoo? Easily. 
Yeah, I'm one tattoo. How it's, do I uh, not know about this? It's on my ankle. It's Corey. Oh, I do remember yeah. you posted. It's about Corey. That. Yeah, it's Corey. It says Corey. I remember down on my ankle. Damn, it's my one tattoo. So I had to ask for a cut there. I'll be honest mm-hmm. to the audience because, um, seeing like. It was like we had Adam Saleh on the, our podcast, yeah. and he revealed to us that his manager stole $100,000 from him. And when he showed us the receipts on his phone is when I got emotional. It's like when you see yeah. it. So I heard like, oh, I have Corey. And I was like, oh, you have Corey. But then seeing but, it, yeah, exactly. touch different. Yep. Um, and thought, oh, shit, yeah, I'm usually no, the best no, at talking no, it, to it him. It always does. Is, like um, see, seeing things and getting hip so, things that happens. It's, yeah. I wasn't, fuck, I'm sorry. I wasn't the best of friends with Corey as like, mm-hmm. you know, you and all your friends were. But whenever I was at Alex Wasabi's house is when I had an interaction with Corey. Mm-hmm. And the thing I loved most about him was even when everybody saw me in a negative light because of shit that I had gone through or things mm-hmm. in my past, he never held that against me. Nope. And he always praised me. And he was like, bro, you were the king of this shit. Like, you you ran this shit. Like, you you did this for years and always bigged me up. I remember playing ping pong against him and just always made me feel like I was accepted. <laughs> he, was with, like, good at ping pong. I, he always made me feel accepted in a group that yeah. I didn't feel like I belonged in. Yeah, he was great at that. He, he was the one person who would always, like, if there was someone that we were like, oh, maybe we don't want to hang out with them today. He was like, fuck off. I'm inviting them. I like that. Every time. I like that. I like uh, that. I love that. And if nobody hung out with them, he would hang he would out, hang with out. Them yeah. every time. He never had that. There was no ego. There was no superiority. No. It was just never. love. It was just based on love. And I remember that. We were actually outside of your old house um, on the hills. In and Studio City. Yeah, we were outside on the fireplace. And we just had a talk about YouTube and stuff. And he bigged me up so much in one simple conversation that resonated with me for so long. It was him and Crawford. Mm-hmm. And they made me feel so good. And, yeah, that's just, I just wanted to say that. He was that. a very welcoming person. Yeah. Like, very. I never met him. But as soon as you met him, he just, it was like you guys were friends already. Do you, <laughs> do you mind if I say something? Go for about it. About it. You can tell me to stop. Oh, I can, no, go for it. In the last episode, we were actually going to talk about this, but then um, these episodes are so, like, this one's coming out way after. So when I say last episode, I mean the JP and Aaron uh, WWE fake wrestling beef. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Um, we were going to talk about um, the apology video that Daniel had put out. And me as a person, as an outsider, um, who has no room to like give judgment or anything because I'm mm-hmm. like I'm not in it as you are. I was just disgusted and I was appalled and I was really 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 upset by it because yep. I've had to do my fair share of apologies and when I've done apologies even for something not even a percentage of the magnitude of what that was was more sincere in my apology and was doing it for better reasons than what I saw through that video. Yeah. Yeah. Um we don't even have to talk about this. I just want to share that. It, it, it really upset me. It felt so yeah. scripted. Like, it just didn't feel genuine at all. It wasn't. Um, we, we, well, we have no room to say whether somebody's yeah. intentions yep. are genuine or not because you never know at the end of the day. Maybe they just don't know how to voice themselves. But it just felt like the intentions behind it and how it was set up and what was said was just it, there was not a time and place for it and it shouldn't have even been it's not a it's not a video to save your career there's no room to try to save your career yeah. after what you have done yep that affects so many lives so many families so many friendships for a lifetime it's just there's a time you say something and a time you don't and that was a time i felt like something should not have been said personally yeah i agree personally yep I am I am in agreement yeah. with that. Too. So I'll leave yeah, it at that. That's, that's all I'll say. Yeah. Um, I, I'm sorry for bringing yep. that up. I, just, uh, I was going to bring fine. that up last time. Okay, well, let's go on to... Uh, dang. That's great. That's just like... I know. No. That, <laughs> um, yeah, no. Twitter. I was on it recently. And yep. Camboys 
Yeah. Have been popping, man. Yeah. Congrats on that, Thank by the you. way. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I got a lot of shit to say about this. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, as a former, because you don't oh, Twitch stream man. anymore, right? I don't Twitch stream anymore. Um, but yeah, no, just lead us into how can um, boys like. No, 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 no. Before he leads us, I want to say his one. Yeah, please. So say when it. I was doing Twitch <laughs> last year, oh, okay. I had about maybe at my heydays 3,000, 5,000 subscribers. Oh, woo! And JC at the time had like 200 views. Viewers. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, I'm doing better than JC? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I ended up quitting. It was just ruining my life. I yep. was drinking and smoking. I wasn't doing it properly. Yeah. And like I said, when I met Crawford back at their old house, I knew he was a star. Like, yeah. you could just oh, tell that yeah. like, Crawford is a star and he's the most genuine, one of the most yep. genuine people I ever met. But now all of a sudden, time passes and you and your crew are like, the kings of Twitch. <laughs> I know it's a big compliment, no, but just take it. Yeah. How? What? Um, Where? When? Why? Yeah. So, so the it, it it was it was a very like linear progression into it because it started like maybe ten months ago. Yeah. Oh, and wow. it started with um, Will, like, because Kian or not Kian, JC. JC has always kind of streamed. Yeah. Um, and it's been like an on and off thing that he does sometimes. Yeah. Um, but then Will uh, and Will and Dill, a couple a couple of the cam boys, mm-hmm. they they were like, fuck it, we're in quarantine. Can I cuss on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they were like, fuck it, we're in quarantine. So let's just start streaming Call of Duty. And so they started... And they were Will and Dill Will started and Dill. all this. Will and Dill started streaming Call of Duty with no mic, no no camera. Uh, it was just them playing the game, and they were they were I no mean, they, face cam, no face cam. Just, they were getting like the ten. Or they must 50, be really good then. <laughs> no, no. Oh, they were getting the about. Thing. They were getting like ten viewers, maybe uh-huh. fifteen viewers, and then um, Crawford and I were like. Fuck it, we'll do it too. And uh-huh. we signed up, and then same thing. It was like ten to maybe twenty viewers, and uh-huh. Crawford would get like thirty. Um, and we'd sit and just play the game, and you could only hear our voices. But people came to just hear the voices and like talk in the chat and stuff like that. Uh-huh. So I mean, they didn't need to see our faces. But then it was like, okay, so we're making a little bit of money doing this. We're able to pay our bills. We're able to get some food, stuff like that. And so it was like. Let's take it higher. Then we started getting face cams and stuff like that. And then once we got face cams, it moved on to like, well, do we have to play Call of Duty? Can we just sit here and Mm, chat and talk and hang out? Um, So we moved to that and we were just chatting and talking and doing that. And then it moved from that to like, what if we did YouTube videos on Twitch so that they're like live YouTube videos? Uh, So we started doing like like trivia challenges. We started doing um, like, like just... Come over and hang out, and we'll do dumb yeah. stuff for thirty minutes. Or it, we we just got a little more complex mm-hmm. in what we were doing, and then like JC jumped on and made him bigger, and he was like, "Let's have everybody in this big room and do Jenga, and we're gonna do Jenga IRL. We'll have two cameras set up, one in the main and one that we can do like mm-hmm. Zoom footage on and stuff like that." And then it started to rise. And then all of us who had been doing it for maybe like four months started to trickle off just because of the mental tax that Twitch takes Mm -hmm. on you. Which a lot of people don't know about. And and you you know of that because like you said, I was in it for a year and then I stopped. And it's like, it's not a hard job because you're just playing games, hanging out, talking. But it's really mentally taxing. And it's hard to explain it. There's like there's anxiety in watching viewers go up and down. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. anxiety in sub drop. I'll, I'll disagree with you saying it's not a hard job. I feel like it's a really hard job. Yeah, but not hard physically. Not hard physically. Emotionally. Oh, so much. It's hard because it's it's very taxing on your emotions because you have anxiety yeah. for however many reasons. And, and you stream on Twitch too, so you can probably really. It's crazy when you jump up to two hundred well. and it goes down to fifty, like. You don't care, yeah. but your body for some reason yeah. just you're, reacts to you're, it. Like you, like you can tell yourself as many times as you want. Subs don't matter. Views don't matter. But then when you watch a drop happen, it's like, oh, 
Mm-hmm. And you just mm-hmm. feel it, and you just keep Thank going. Thank you for your authenticity regardless. and sharing that, because that's yeah. a very yeah, true yeah. statement. But I like even if it doesn't show, you do yes. feel it. Um, and so that that all happened. So a lot of us started to trickle down, and then JC had the gaming PC, uh-huh. so he he was able to game, which is so much easier to game mm-hmm. than it is to to just chat sit there and in IRL, do YouTube yeah. videos and do the IRL stuff. Um, just because you're you're having fun sitting there gaming and you're so focused on the game yeah that like like a lot of the things that make you anxious kind of trickle away and it's just your game in the chat yeah. instead of your game the chat the sub count the viewers the this the that the yeah that. um so jc continued and he was gaming and jc he won't take credit for this but he is like the founder and he is the reason that the cam boys are so popping wow. and it is because um jc started gaming with some of like the biggest people out there. He started gaming with big Twitch streamers. He started gaming with the vlog squad. He started gaming with James Charles. He st- like he was gaming and playing Among Us. And mm-hmm. this was when Among Us was really big. Yeah. He started playing with all these like huge popping people. And then instead of just continuing in that and taking that to the top, he was like, I'm going to drop back down and I'm going to try to get Crawford to get a PC. I'm going to try to get Will to get a PC. Dill to get wow. a PC. Christian to get a PC. We're going to take my two friends from Texas, play with them. We're going to take this guy, play with him. And ah. he just added all these people. And instead of like continuing to rise, playing with all of these big people, he went back down to he take went, you guys He went all up back with down him. to take everybody up with him. Wow. And that's what he's done. And that's why it's, it's so funny so that we're, you talk about JC because yesterday I watched him. Ken and Ryan <laughs> go through a drive through yeah. uh, a car wash with their windows down celebrating yep. 25,000 subscribers. And, exactly. And then <laughs> so he hit that, he went through the drive drive through, did, did the car wash, did I know all what you're that. About to say. And then he raided Crawford, took all of his viewers over to Crawford and then, and then goes Crawford to his house. And then yeah, went home, partied with Crawford, and Crawford had hits a good 10K. time with Crawford, Crawford hit 10k. Oh my god. So it was like Smart. I so there's JC. He's like I just hit success, so now I'm going to Take all that success and put it right towards my boy. Okay. <clears throat> my next question. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you taking such a <laughs> Oh, he wants to. Oh, okay, I know oh what my it is. God. Uh, the little job. I already know. We already know. Who do I is. speak to to audition to be a cam boy? <laughs> so you want to do Twin My Heart and Cam Boys? Yeah, let's right. get it. Well, Gotta wait, get it. How, how did Cam Boys. Like, how did that name? That's. Uh, I've been racking my mind <laughs> yeah. trying to figure out what is so, Cam Boys. Okay, so Just when. Skip my so when, <laughs> when we were all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, okay, wait. We'll go back to the question. Christian, we'll go back. No, no, no. Go skip it. Uh, we're not having auditions at this moment in time. But when we do, I'll let you know. <laughs> Is it because of COVID? Is that why? <laughs> no, it's got, it's it's genuinely because we started with so many people. That now that Among Us is like falling off, we have so many people and there's not enough games that can... I don't want to be a cannibal. Play with <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> anyway, what was your question? No, so Camboys, the name. Like, I've, I've went yes. there, I was like, who... Yes. Um, so when we were playing Among Us and before we had announced Camboys and stuff like that, we had a group chat and then somebody named the group chat Camboys. Because because it was like we're, we're boys on camera, <laughs> and it was it was a funny it was a funny joke yeah, that we had made. Like we're we're cam boys, yeah. and it, I mean you know you know that's why it's funny. Okay, yeah. so somebody put that, and then we we play Among Us with cam boys, but Danny's sixteen, and then Danny's age would continue to go down every every time he said something dumb. Dang, so we, I, we got oh we gosh. got to like cam boys, but Danny's too. I spent so much time um, figuring it out. I looked at all your names. I was like, who has cam in their name? And yeah, do no, you know, you no, know, you know, you know what a cam it? girl is, right, Aaron? No, I'm old. Oh, I don't know oh, a lot of these things. No. I just found out what cat meant. Everybody else, no knows. cam girl. I just yeah, yeah, I just okay. found out what but, cat. Um, you know, you so. could have just texted Christian and been like, hey, how did you guys come up with the name cam? No, boys? because like before we have people come on, I usually do research and I like to like figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. Damn it. It's but, like, like it's been so, struggling so in for a couple so, of nights now. It's so, a bit a couple nights. Camboys was a, a joke that we had in our group chat. Mm-hmm. And that was a joke. And then somebody at some point was like, we should make this a group and nice. come out and say that we are the group. And then everybody was like, we can't make our name Camboys because of Cam Girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we were like, we can't be, we can't be the Camboys. 
So then we we thought of like five <laughs> different names, and we were like, maybe maybe we'll be Ohana because we're just everybody's family. Oh, maybe. Oh, and that was like you didn't go that, that. that was cheesy. Yeah. And, then, and then we were like, maybe we'll be the stream team. Oh, oh, oh no, no. even worse. <laughs> but we spelled it cool. It was S T R. No, it was yeah S T R M. TM stream team, uh, and then it was like this Cam is, Boys is so much it was better. like yeah. this is so cheesy, and then we like we had a couple more, and then we were like <laughs> you know you know what, <laughs> why can't we go with Cam Boys? <laughs> I mean it's a it's a because we were like it's, it's catchy it's funny yeah. like we're we're as a collective so stupid. Like we operate on the same half brain cell. Uh-huh. Like there's so many videos of just clips of like they're just edits. Of like ten clips of us being idiots. I watch you guys. One I know, I know what you guys do. I see. Yeah, it. we're dumb. So we were like, why not have a dumb name that like encapsulates yeah. what we are? I was like, actually gonna subscribe to JC yesterday, but then he gets like, you don't even dis- subscribe to. Listen this? why? Listen I why? Subscribe to listen him why? I quit Twitch. I don't and even go on Twitch no more. And you? I actually emailed Twitch to delete my account entirely. Really? What? Yeah. But I was gonna subscribe. But I'm not gonna lie. He gets like a thousand a minute. I said if I subscribe, he's not gonna see it. There's gonna be no recognition from he it. Is. So, huh? He does. He wouldn't have seen my single one. Yes, he hey. would not have. I'll, I'll yep. prove it to you. What? Next <laughs> okay. time he's streaming, streaming right I'll now. Subscribe. No, he's not. <laughs> but I want to say the one thing I respect about you guys mm-hmm. so much, um, and I think something our friend group can learn from everybody, including Alex Wasabi and everybody else. You guys are so supportive of each other. Yeah. You guys like when everybody wins. Yep. It's not just a one person thing. It's if one of us wins, we all win. We we said it yesterday on stream, but our group chat right now is 80%. Let's go. Croft to the moon. This yeah. guy to the moon. Dev hit 2K. Let's go. That like that's 80% of the group um, chat is just cheering each other. Do you other want on. my number to add me to the group chat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I get what you mean. Like, especially with like the Skip vlog squad and stuff. <laughs> I'm just trying to help Christian yeah, no. out. You Thank be, you. Like, yeah. just, like, exactly. We, I'm not in charge. <laughs> like, you got to be supportive of each other. That and that's something mm-hmm. I've always noticed about them. Like they, yeah. they're, they're a family. But they do live. To, don't a lot of you guys live together? Um, no. no what we have, the C4? So the C4 house uh-huh. lives together, which is Will, Dill, Crawford, Oscar, and JC. Mm-hmm. Um, Dill doesn't live there, but he's there all the time, yeah. so he technically does. But then <laughs> I live in my own house. David lives in, in his own house. Reggie and Kevin live together. Jake lives over here. Thomas lives over here. Devontae lives in New Jersey. Savage oh, wow. lives in Texas. Yo, I, it's ha- like we are- I have Kean's contact in my phone. It might be an old number. Can I do a funny bit and just try to call him? Yep. There's a zero percent chance he's gonna answer. Go for it. But I'm just Go gonna do it. this as we're winding down this episode. You need a screen record or no? User busy. What's that supposed to mean? User. That's not even his number. All right, we gotta edit that out. That <laughs> no, 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 editing, no, editing, 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 editing out. No editing, editing out. He either blocked me or that's an old ass number. Wait, what? Really? I I've never gotten a busy. user busy notification in my life. Yeah, I don't think that's a, is that a user literally busy. Can well, lock. Might be, it doesn't might show his on, number. Oh. User busy. No, but I think he might be on a FaceTime call. Or something? I've never. No. Look, have you ever it's gotten a user thing. busy like no, this? No, I've I didn't never know that was a thing. Let me check my. It might be Wi-Fi issue. Let me see. No, <gasps> it's probably not. Anyways, I've never seen that before. I didn't know that was a thing. Christian, <laughs> I I want to say um <laughs> we've had a lot of guests so far, and I know this episode isn't coming out for quite some time, but this is the most fun I've genuinely had thank on you, a podcast. Man. So thank yeah. you for the energy. You're Any inside, time. and like a, you've actually been really fun, and it's like I'm glad, man. Yeah. I'm glad. I don't know how you guys feel, but that's how I feel. No, dude, I've had like <laughs> laugh, like I we've laughed a lot on this episode. Yeah, this has been a good episode. <laughs> this has been really fun. So, Christian, um, we always ask our guests as a parting statement, mm-hmm. as somebody who's like, you know, everybody does something different. Who we yeah. bring on? Us right now. We're in, I don't know if we're at the end of the pandemic. I don't know where we are in that regard. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people are getting vaccinated and stuff, but I know a lot of people, regardless, need some sort of words of encouragement. So is yeah. there any... Is this Kian? Hello? Hi, this is a Healthy Spot Grooming. Oh, I'll put, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, you got so excited. I'm so sorry. Shut up. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Shut he got up. so excited that he's just like, Stop. Muffins <laughs> he's like, I gotta leave. But Christian, 
<laughs> is there any? <laughs> this is. You know what? This is impulsive. Where's Logan at? Um, anyway, is there a? And there's no like. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be thirty seconds, six seconds. It could be five seconds. It could be five minutes. Is there any words of encouragement? And it could be about anything that you feel like you deal through or people need to hear that you can leave to our viewers. And yeah. I'm sure your viewers that are going to tune in yep. to see what you had to say this episode. Yeah. Is there anything you can leave them with? Um, but to the camera. To, okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, I mean, if, if it's just words of encouragement and about the pandemic and stuff like this, I would say uh, get out and try something new today. Um, I think a lot of like my anxiety throughout the whole pandemic has been because I, I fall into the same repetitive pattern over and over and over mm-hmm. again. And I think it's really important to get out, try something new, go for a walk so that you're getting outside or something like that. But I think trying something new and kind of shifting the pattern of doing the same thing over and over and over again kind of brings a little more serotonin into your into your day. So get out. Try something new. I love that you said that. I could spend an hour dissecting that right now, but yeah. I think this has been a long episode, so I'm going to leave it at that. That was great. And I, I'm not being sarcastic. Thank you. I did that all 2020. I was stuck in the same pattern. Yeah. And I didn't realize it. And it makes you more anxious and it stresses yes. you out. And yes. you're, you're anxiety Even yesterday was out. my first off day from work in a while, and I was just at home all day with the lights off. I didn't have the lights on, and I fell into that trap. Yeah. And today I'm already out filming and I'm feeling better. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's how but. It is. Be safe, wear your mask, get tested, yes, and yes, yes. get vaccinated if you have the luxury to do so. And with that being said, <laughs> yo, before he leaves, hit the subscribe button, yo. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave you know, a comment. This is not like Twitch. It's free to subscribe on here. Yeah, so JC, why are you not subscribed? Oh, my already? God. You're telling me <laughs> JC has 25,000 paid subscribers and we have 27,000? We have more than 27,000. I'm just. I'm yeah, just, but it's all free subs, so it's different. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, it still means just as much to us when you guys subscribe. Oh, yeah. Gotta get into the moon, okay? <laughs> Gotta get into the moon. Are right, you ready for this? Yes. Four times. Four. Okay. I was wondering how many times you did it. I was wondering if it was like the last one was extended. Or, got it, got it, got it, got it. You got it, but now you gotta get it. Let's hear your I singing got, skills, bro. Ready? <clears throat> one, two, three. Gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it! Job. All right, so um, Ooh. if you want to take me to JC's house now for the audition, that would, yeah. be, that would be great. <laughs> oh, my oh, sorry. Uh, we only accept people who still have their Twitch accounts. Wow. <laughs>